fan vlog number three. Today is Wednesday. Uh, we didn't get to make a vlog over the weekend or do any work on the van because it was raining all weekend and um, we haven't got any shelter to do the work. So I'm going to split it over a few days and hopefully there's enough for a vlog. Today we're going to tape like the layout for the frame that we want for the bed and the kitchen. We discovered that the layout that we wanted uh, we can't have because I'm too tall and it doesn't fit properly. And over the last two weeks we've had a, a few issues with the van. So the first one was every time we parked up like all this rusty water was leaking everywhere. So I took it to the mechanic and um, he said it's a leaking coolant pipe it's got a hole in it so he quoted $150 but he managed to fix it for $60 so that was okay the next thing is it keeps making a really loud squeaking noise I think it's like a belt slipping so get that fixed and then the other problem the other day I went to get out the van and this happened so this is meant to be where the handle goes um, I pulled it and it just like crumbled into bits so now can't get out of the driver's side properly so I have to reach over and open it that way so that needs fixing hopefully it's not too expensive what I want to do while I'm vlogging is like keep a record and show you how much it costs to convert the van I'm gonna exclude the cost of the actual van and any repairs is just gonna be the conversion alone so the first thing we bought was the wood for the like the floor that was um, $20 a piece and we got two the next thing we bought was the jigsaw to cut all the wood uh, that was $20 and the last thing we bought was a tape measure for $3 so we're on $63 so far still lots more to buy though like I said earlier I'm gonna split this week's vlogs into little mini ones today we're gonna measure it the floor out um, with some tape that I got from work. We're just gonna draw like the layout we want with it and then we can get the wood um, all cut to size. First thing is we've got like this big bulkhead thing and it's really ugly uh, it makes it an awkward shape so hopefully we're gonna build like um, a wooden frame along here and it's nice and flat and then the bed will go from here right along to just above the wheel arch here. The kitchen will go at the end, so um, I'm just gonna tape it up now. Lauren, where are you going? To get what? Groceries. Okay, not wine. Oh yeah. That's it for today. I haven't really got a clue what else to do. I'm gonna go and ask for some help on the the local Facebook group and see if any any joiners can help me. And it'll be really good then. So uh, I'll do some more tomorrow. Today we're gonna to try and put some laminate flooring. Um, I've never done it before. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. We just bought two boxes for thirty-five dollars each. Hopefully that's all we need. So, let's get started. Can we start? Yeah. Okay, so what can we do now? Oh my god, this is confusing. No. So I'm going to have to cut. Done our first stencil for the uh, wheel arch. Um, we hope it's right. We haven't uh, did we measure it properly. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to cut it and hopefully it fits. First cut is done. That's the wheel arch shape. So let's see if it fits. Does it fit? Yeah. So far, and I'm definitely speaking too soon, it's going way smoother than expected. Hey Perry. What? Touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> Hello. 
last piece of the night. Um, we're almost done on it and it, it took an hour and a half. Um, we've got no DIY experience and it's literally been so easy. So yeah, um, two boxes of laminate, like $35 each. Um, and we've got like half a box left over as well. So we'll be able to use that somewhere else in the van. So let's get the last piece in and then time for beer. Yeah. Doesn't fit, um, so we need to cut it again. <laughs> Here he comes, final piece of the day. Come on, Mr. Flynn. For the fifth time. We're in! Yay! Yeah. Yay! We're in! Oh god, that was stressful. Okay, today is Saturday and um, more rain is forecast so try and get as much work done on the van as possible. Got to finish the flooring, there's a few tricky cuts um, but first I'm going to put these columns in here where the bed frame will go and um, so then I'll just do the floor around that and um, it saves a few tricky cuts. So first job today is to cut three more of these columns and they're going to go they're going to go um all around the wheel arches and, and then the wood the wooden bed frame is going to go on top of that so let's cut them so this wood i've got um it didn't cost a penny i found it in a skip on the side of the road and managed to get quite a lot of wood out of it so it saves us about 50 dollars um, and need to measure it up and then do the cuts so let's see how it goes. I've got no vice, so to keep the wood still, I've got Lauren to sit on it. I'm so heavy. <laughs> These four columns just going to be to this side and two on that side as well. I don't want to drill into the floor or anything, so what I'm going to do is drill four holes in here, bolt the pieces of wood to the metal of the van, um, to waste stay there, and I don't go in the floor as well. Uh, then what will happen is I will get some wood to go across here, and that will be the start of the bed frame. Um, I also quickly made this little frame as well. So just gonna put, whoa, just gonna put this frame here and I'm gonna put some legs going up there in the middle and at the end and then we're just gonna box it off so it looks nice and tidy and not all grotty like this. So what I'm doing now is measuring where I need to put the holes for the, um, the bolts. Got me tape measure and I'm just gonna measure. Um, I've got 20, 20 centimeters of metal to bolt into. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like 6 centimetres and 12 centimetres for the, um, for the bolts. So I'm going to measure 6, mark it once at the top. I'm going to just draw a straight line. And that is where the first bolt will go. In that hole. Do the same further up. So then there's two bolts going in each spot, and it's hopefully nice and solid thanks to the metal of the van. It shouldn't move. Okay, and um, just drilling the columns and the holes in the columns to go into the metal. The drill bit that I've just bought went spinning off the drill down there. Now I can't find it, so end of the vlog today tune in next time to watch me build the bed frame bye